Oh, good morning, Mr. Reavy. Ah, Joey. Did you uh, finish the new design yet? Right here. I think you're going to be really happy with what I got. Is, is this it? Turn it around. Here's what I do not want to happen in this video. I do not want, as much as I love some of my copers, right? I do not want the coping people in the comments talking about whatever deck I comment be like, this deck has some viability. Guys, objectively speaking, the decks I'm gonna be talking about have like no viability at all. So let's just get that out of the way first, okay? Um, here's what I do wanna talk about in this video. I wanna talk about how these leaders and archetypes are so underserved and underdeveloped that in my opinion it makes the game worse because they're they just keep releasing leaders that have no chance and i've talked about this a couple times in previous videos but i kind of just want to talk about it one more time in a way that is a little bit more um i don't even know the right word for it but i want to talk about it again i want to <laughs> i want to talk about it again so Here's, here's the issue, and let me make sure my music isn't too loud, whoops, playing that RuneScape soundtrack. Here's the issue. I want, I want to actually take, I want you guys to take a look at some of these leaders right here, all right? I want, I want, I want, I want you guys to take a look at some of these leaders right here, and I want you to tell me what you think. Kiros, activate main, once per turn, black, yellow leader. You may turn the top card of your life, face up, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with the cost zero so sounds decent right it's like decent removal it's like it, it's 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 organic removal which isn't too bad because before for organic removal we had to do the sock the black sakazuki which was discard a card pay three dawn and get something also down to zero i'm pretty sure or was it one i can't remember so it's not horrible but let's look at some of these problems the problem is, it has no synergy with anything. So, yellow, the all the yellow cards that you have access to with this deck are just better in other yellow decks. Same with the black cards. All the black cards that you have access to are just better in other black decks. So, it just feels like, like what is the point of playing Kuros? Even if you think about, oh, we'll play the Dress Rosa package because you have access to Colosseum and all of your characters have Rush. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen the Dress Rosa cards, but they're not very good. <laughs> they're not good at all. So, like, the problem with these decks, right, is there are absolutely no reason to play any of them, right? Like, I would say that there are there are some, like, fringe meta decks. There are some Tier 2 decks. There are some, like, Tier 3 decks. We're not even talking about those. We're talking about decks that literally either have no identity, no synergy, or no playability. And I think it's a really bad thing for the game. Um, and obviously, it's not going to break the game. There's no, like, this isn't, like, I mean, it, it could, you know, because there, there are some repercussions I'll talk about in, 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 a, in a second. But I think the bad thing that comes with this is that, like, there is just such an overwhelmingly, like, stupid amount of, like, leaders and it feels like they're just trying to like put stuff out there, right? Like, I don't, <laughs> this actually reminds me of like, I'm sure every card game has this, but do you guys remember like Yu-Gi-Oh where like you'd come across like some random card in a bulk and you're just like, let me read it. Let's just see what it does. And it's like, roll a dice 17 times. If you roll a dice 17 times and then get six or more, more than four times, then you should, you can destroy up to one of your opponent's monsters and then trash you like trash three cards from your hand. You're like, bro, like, why would anybody play that, right? And like, you, like you now, what's crazy enough is like we're actually getting to the point in One Piece where like these cards, like they're just like printing cards just to like have cards in the set. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like how we always have five seven vanillas for every single archetype. Like, who is going to play a five seven vanilla in like the Dress Rosa archetype? Who's gonna play a five seven vanilla in like? I don't even know, like the freaking, 
the animal archetype. I don't know. Like, like is is I don't even I don't even know. But like, there's always like these vanillas. There's always like these cards that like don't do anything. Like, I actually want. <laughs> Let me pull up a couple of these actually on the screen for you guys real quick. This is actually a new card. <laughs> this is a new card from EBO One. It's called Gonfall. It says. It's a three cost 4k character with a 1k counter. It's a blocker. It says on play, if your opponent has one or less life, KO up to one of their cost three or lower characters. It's like, it's not a bad card, but it's just like, it's so like the, like who is going to like the, the scenario for it to actually like come up. The effect is so niche that it's like, it's not even worthy of a spot to play in the deck, right? It's a, it's a yellow uh, Sky Island card too, right? Um, same thing with like, uh, all right, this one, this one actually had me, uh, bro, I was actually rolling when I, I was laughing so hard at this, this effect, right? So this is Otama, not the red Otama, the yellow Otama. It says it's a, it's a one K, it's a one K counter, one cost. It says on play, place up to one of your opponent's characters that cost three or less with the animal or smile type uh, on the top of their life or area face up. And I'm like, okay, that, that doesn't sound too bad. For, well, when I first read it, I thought it was one of your characters. So I was like, oh, it's a heal card. That's actually really good. And I'm like, let me check out the smile cards. Let me, see, let me see what kind of smile cards we have in here. And then I realized that none of them are played ever. Like there's no smile cards. And you're like, okay, what about the, what about the, <laughs> what about the animal cards then, huh? What about these animal cards? Let's, let's check out the animal cards that, that you could put back in the life. And then it's like, okay, we have like, the vanilla like laboon and then we have like the blocker chopper from from ebo one and then we have like uh kung fu dugong <laughs> and you're like okay like these cards are never gonna see play ever so it just it's just like why are they in there but like i don't even care too much about like the like the the individual cards like because it's just fluff i guess is what you would say it but the leaders have to go the leaders absolutely have to go. So let's let's talk about this, right? The EBO1 booster set was supposed to be something to basically support old leaders of the past. And I was like, that's great, right? They need it. They need so much support. Even my 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 blurple croc, my bl my blurple crocky coon, right? Um it needs some it needs some help. A lot of decks need some help. Doflamingo needed some help. You know, things like that. And then I find out that they implemented new leaders in the extra booster set. A set that was supposed to support other leaders and archetypes of the past. They implemented new leaders. And then they gave us freaking Kiros, who is the, another useless leader that they're probably going to have to support in EBO2. <laughs> like, they, they, they can't keep getting away with this. Like, it's it's actually horrible. So here's here's... Here's the uh, here's the downside. I know we're all jokes aside. The downside of this, guys, is we keep getting these leaders that literally mean absolutely nothing, and then they have to be replaced with leaders of the same name, just so like just so like they can have a viable leader for that name. So for example, we have like a bunch of different what is it called Luffy leaders, right? So we have the red Luffy, then we have red purple Luffy, then we have red green Luffy, and then we have purple Luffy. Uh, and then we have, you know, we have all these Luffy's because some of them are viable, some of them are not. So they want to like introduce like, like l viable leaders for like archetypes coming up in the, like in the future. And then we have another leader with Crocodile, right? Crocodile, we have Showtime Crocodile, we have Blurple Crocodile, we got Blue Crocodile. You know, they keep releasing all these Crocodiles when... They don't have to, right? Like, stop releasing all of these crocodiles. Same with Doflam They released the Doflamingo already. Now they're releasing, uh, what is it called? I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking of, actually. But yeah, they keep releasing all these leaders, and like, it, it basically it's it basically waters down the value of these leaders. Like, for example, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people think this way too, from from the people that I talked about. It's like. I get trying to kind of, I forgot, there's also a blue Luffy and a black Luffy, like, just plain. But, like, I get the idea, like, trying to, like, appease the fan base by, like, releasing some of their favorite, like, characters as leaders. But I think the fan base would appreciate it more if you release these leaders that actually had some type of identity or viability or playability, right? Because, like, you just releasing these leaders for the art, I'd rather you just release a card that literally wasn't actually illegal in the game as, like, a collection card to like appease like the collectors for like 
or like the people that love the 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 that particular character appease them but don't like water down the game in the process right like i don't know like how you would do that i guess like just like literally don't have like like uh attributes for it like don't put like the cost on it don't put like the life on it the power and just like have like an art card that is like for like a popular leader that you just haven't had yet in the game and that way you can kind of collect it um without it kind of like tarnishing the uh like the the i guess the characters or the leaders in the game because like instead of there being 55 different luffy leaders i'd rather there just be like three luffy leaders and then they're all like somewhat viable even if they're ter even if they're terrible at least let them have like a specific identity that is like good for that type of, like for that archetype right like for example like red green luffy is terrible but like at least it has an identity that is like fun and interesting right it's like an like a not an otk but it's like a very heavy like i'm gonna swing five times that you type type of build and that could be fun right that could be really fun um but yeah like what they're doing now is they're watering down all of the leaders and it's making it so like all the leaders that come out basically they keep having to like produce archetypes for these leaders um i i guess a specific the most specific example is uh opo7 we have chopper coming out who has uh who works with animal like animal cards right but like there aren't really any animal cards and there's barely any animal cards that we're getting in opo8 from what we've seen so far and it just feels bad like why not just like instead instead of like releasing like five or six new leaders every set why not just have like uh five leaders every other set and then the set after those leaders come out you introduce either like new cards for that leader or like like a different type of play style so now you have like Playstyle 1 was, like, the first set, and then you have Playstyle 2, which is the second set. It's like, oh, do you like the aggro version, or do you like the control version, or do you like the mid-range version, or do you like the, I don't know, like, the event version, or something like that. And that way, like, it gives these leaders, like, um, support to, like, be viable for two sets in a row, and it allows you to play them a different way as well, so they don't get stale. Like, the game doesn't get stale. And that way, like, you're not releasing just, like, a bunch of art for no reason, and you can save that art and, like, all of those, like, leaders that you that you printed for, you know, like, like leaders in the, in the future where, like, you actually, like, want them to succeed, right? So, for example, like, Blurple Croc, as much as I love Blurple Croc, it is not a good deck. And, like, I wish that, you know, in set two and three... They would, they would have just, like, supported it a little bit more every single set rather than waiting six sets for us to get an extra booster to, like, not really do a whole lot. Like, we're still waiting on a good high-end blue card that isn't Mihawk. We're still waiting on a good high-end purple card that isn't Rush Kaido. Like, these cards, have, these cards came out, like, in, like like almost like two years ago at this point, and we still don't have extra cards that like increase the viability of that deck. So I guess I guess my rant session is over, my yap session is over. I, I don't like the way that these 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 uh sets are 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 forming out because for me it just feels like I'd much rather have viable leaders and then support those leaders for like like one more set and then make all new leaders and then do that like keep going down the line and then at the same time if you do want to release the extra booster set you know what I'm saying that's great like and then you could support the the leaders that even when you supported them you know in the old sets you can support them even more if they weren't very good like even more heavily so for example in the extra booster set if they supported uh, if they made, let's say, uh, Purple Kaido way better, and then they made, like, let's say, Green Kid way better, right? But, like, Red Luffy and Blue Crocodile weren't that great, even with the support they added. How about in the extra booster set, you just support, you give even more support to Red Luffy and then, like, like Blue Crocodile. And you can make this leader locked. Like, I think leader locking is totally fine. Like, if, if you don't want to, like, upset the balance of the cards, like, make them leader locked. So, like, it's like, only this deck can play it. And I, I think that's actually worth it. Now, of course, you can make some powerful cards not leader locked. Like, I, as much as I think Gecko Moria is kind of a broken card, every card that has access to black is most likely going to play it and it does make the deck a little bit better so i'm okay with that but like there should be some there should be some cards in every archetype that are only playable by this specific card right now we don't have that with almost anything other than like some of the animal kingdom pirate stuff and some of like the big mom stuff like we we need definitely more and obviously there's more I, just that's just off the top of my head but we definitely need more like leader lock stuff we definitely need new more support for the old leaders and honestly maybe even rotates like some of these leaders that are like literally like unplayable no matter how much support you give them just like rotate them out and then just like like 
forget their existence and then try again with like this new format that i'm suggesting obviously no one's gonna give a fuck what i have to say right like no one cares what i have to say because like uh in terms of like bandai right like bandai's not gonna watch this video and like write this down write this down like they're, they're just not gonna do that but if they did i feel like the game would be a lot better and uh, i want to hear what you guys think peace